Good morning, Christ Church. I'm Karen Smith, and I help coordinate the prayer and care ministries here at church. Back in March, when we learned that we were under a stay-at-home order and that Christ Church needed to cancel all the worship services and small group meetings and other activities, we worried about how we were going to stay in touch with the congregation and how we were going to meet the members' needs for pastoral care and connection, especially those who were elderly and more isolated. We have three pastors and a small care and compassion team that's headed up by lay leader Don Greenberg. But it felt like Jesus was trying to feed the multitudes with just a few loaves and fishes. But God inspired Pastor Mark and this team with a new idea, care groups. In Isaiah 43, 19, we read, See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. On March 16th, the team started brainstorming names of folks who might want to contact other church members, and they touched base with them to ask if they were interested in serving in this new ministry. Rhonda Bourgeois helped with the technical end of things, and I started setting up the system. By March 20th, the care groups were up and running. We started assigning people to groups based on age. First, those in their 90s, then those in their 80s, now we have most of our 70-something folks assigned to a care group and many of our 60-somethings. Sunday school groups and other small groups continue to check on their members, but we have people who are not active members in these groups, and we have people who are not able to even get out and come to church, even in normal times. Care group leaders agree to call their group members regularly and check on them to see how they're doing and if they have any needs. It's a chance to just visit and offer a word of encouragement and support. A response form was set up so the leaders can report the results of their calls. We now have 62 people leading care groups and contacting 247 Christ Church members on a regular basis. Care group leaders have helped people access the live stream church services. They've helped folks set up online giving. They've let us know when people want a pastor call or if they need face masks or if they have prayer requests. Some care group leaders are sending cards and notes to their group members. Others are emailing or texting. Some are delivering groceries and leaving them on the porch. My favorite response is this one from Katie Evans about her contact with Jenny Bennett, one of our senior members. I meant to only drop off flowers on her porch for Mother's Day, but Miss Jenny was out on the porch, so we just chatted for a while. It was good to meet her from a good, acceptable social distance away. This ministry is connecting people who never would have known each other otherwise. New friendships are being formed, and some report they can't wait to get back to church and meet their group members in person. Some say they really don't need assistance, but please keep calling. God is indeed doing a new thing here at Christ Church. The Lord is able to take what seems tragic and devastating and turn it around for good. Thank you to all the care group leaders. You are the hands and feet and heart of Jesus for our Christ Church family. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.